What's good, y'all? It's your man, Reese. Welcome to Drip Talk, the place where we talk about everything fit. Today, we're going to be talking about something that's very hypocritical, something that's very disturbing in a way. And good people, the question I have for you today is, is this what equality looks like? I'm going to show you guys what I mean in a second. But before we get into it, be sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell notification to help your man grow this channel. Yes, sir. Without further ado, let's get into it. My good people. Yes, sir. One little second. All right. Everyone take a look at this. First, I did a search for women are trash. As you can see, we come up with the results. As you can see momentarily, it says that it may be associated with hateful behavior. Now watch when I change the word from women to men. Tell me this isn't hypocrisy. I think we need I need we need to complain about. All right, that's his TikTok. Good people, man. I mean, like when is this going to stop? When is this going to end? You know. It's so you telling me and this is TikTok, that the TikTok app by the way. So you telling me it's completely fine for women to say Men is trash. Men ain't this. Men ain't that. You, you telling me it's okay. But when you flip it, if a man was to say women are trash, you telling me that's hate speech? Wait, 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 wait a second. Are you serious right now? Like, is TikTok trying to troll or something? Or are they being for real with this? Because this right here highlights the hypocrisy this highlights a lot of hypocrisy in society today i really don't understand this whole trashing and berating of men yes i understand that there are some men out there that do things that are not good that's not pleasing i understand that and they should be held accountable but to have a whole movement, a whole hashtag, men are trash. Just just shows you that we are really living in a female dominated society, a woman dominated society. And that, br that brings me back to my question that I had originally at the beginning. Is this what equality looks like? Is this what equality looks like? This one-sided, one-way aggression? Is this what equality looks like, good people? Is this what it is for real? Because if that's what it is, then I really don't know if society is going to really go anywhere. I don't know. I really don't. I can't really tell you guys, bro. Like 10, 15 years from now, I'm really, I'm really interested to see how the dating market going to look because right now it's not looking too bright. All we could do is hope and pray it's going to get better. But at the end of the day, people got to be willing to change and work on themselves and become better. And for so long, it's been, the story has been told one side. The story has been, oh, men are doing this. Men are doing that. Men are this. Men are that. For so long, for decades, for decades, good people, this is how it's been. This is how it's been for decades. And the men are finally starting to push back now with, with the manosphere and the RP coming in. But this is what has been going on for decades, yo. Like men being trashed, berated. It's just, this is what it is, y'all. This is what it is. I know it's hard to, to it's hard to realize and understand, but 
a lot of times, bro, a lot of the times, good people, how people present themselves on social media is how they really feel in real life. So pay attention. Pay attention to social to the people's social medias. All right? Pay attention, especially to the fellas. Pay these, these girls that you be seeing that you know and pay attention to their social media. And you'll, you'll see exactly how they feel, trust me. Especially on Twitter. Twitter, t- trust me, you're going you gonna to know on Twitter. But if we really want to be equal, we can't go on like this. This is not equality. This one-way aggression. Because if it was a, let's be, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a bean. Let's keep it a biz out. If it was a man doing this, he would lose everything he got in 24 hours. Not even 24 hours, probably. Even quicker than that, an hour. He would lose everything, especially if he's a public figure. If Can you imagine a celebrity saying that? A male celebrity? He'll lose everything within an hour. He'll be headlining CNN and all that. But when a woman does it, oh, you know, it's all good. It's all good. She's just upset. You know what? I'm going to tell you guys a story. It's not really a story, but I'm going to tell you guys a video, actually, that I saw. All right? And shout out to Poor Man Podcast because I was watching one of his videos and I saw this. It was a woman on Kelly Clarkson's show talking about how she was on dating apps, this, that, and third. And this woman said, well, you know, you know, men are just trash. Do you know what Kelly Clarkson said, good people? Kelly Clarkson said, well, well, it, it's okay. It's okay. You know, it, it's okay to feel like that. You know, I understand how you feel. That's what she said. I kid you not. You guys, you guys can look up probably find it on on, um she probably got a youtube channel y'all could look it up i'm not making this up imagine if that was a man sitting in that same position talking to kelly clarkson and he said you know you know what man yeah man these women out here they just trash you know what i'm saying if a man had said that you know what would happen to him he would have been cussed out berated disrespected as he should probably because that's not cool to generalize a whole gender of people but we got to keep that same energy though that's the thing we got to keep that same energy with the women because this one-sided one-way aggression is plaguing the western society that's what i'm saying bro that's why you see some dudes getting the passports. They going out to other places. They going different countries. They finding women from the islands, from the Philippines or whatever, because they're tired of being disrespected. And that's understandable, ladies. You can't really blame the men for doing that. And I know this is not all women in the West that behave this way, but it's a lot because, unfortunately, feminism has plagued their minds to think that oh the men men are bad you know you gotta fight against the patriarchy you know because these men are just so bad and they just want to suppress you and oppress you which is all lies because if anything men nowadays are definitely not like that so that's a lie (laughs) i mean maybe the top one percent maybe maybe but if we're talking about regular everyday average guys Heck no. They are not out here trying to oppress nobody. So let's 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 just cut that nonsense out. Okay? Let's be realistic. Let's stop demonizing a whole group of people. I'm talking about men in this case. Because apparently TikTok thinks it's hate speech when we're talking about women, but when we're talking about men being trash. I guess that's just free speech, right? Right? Right, TikTok? I guess it's just free speech. I guess so. I could be missing something. I guess berating and disrespecting men is free speech. But when you do it to women, it's hate speech? Let let me 
let me think about that. Ah, uh, I think that might be the case. Uh, that might that might just be the case, good people. That might just be the case. But anyway, I'm tired of talking about this. But <laughs> I, I just wanted to highlight this for you guys to let you guys see for yourselves the hypocrisy that's going on right now in today's society when it comes to men being attacked men being degraded men being berated and i'm sick and tired of it because everybody deserves to be treated well men and women but for some reason this one-way aggression towards men is being normalized and it has to stop all right good people let me let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about this this was wild I had to do it though, but it was really wild, you know. <laughs> but anyways, um let me guys let me um know what you guys think in the comments and be sure to follow my social media, Drip Talk Instagram, Drip Talk TikTok, all right, my personal social media, all that, my clothing brand information and my email driptalk22 at gmail.com all that is in the link in the description box down below good people all right hit me up at the email if you want to collab or send me any video topics and whatnot so good people that's it for today until next time y'all be easy y'all be breezy your man signing out